Hi guys, this is Nitin Chandra and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I will be showing uh, uh, content animations using CSS3 and JavaScript. Uh, this is my existing website. I, I was going to revamp my whole website into new techno with using new technologies and uh, uh, animations, content animations. So I thought uh, uh, I thought I would share the same with you guys. So this is my first cut of my new website where you can see a kind of uh, uh, flat flat design with uh, uh, with uh, with more of white spacing and uh, more usability structure. So uh, you might you might be wondering what is content animations over here uh, when okay okay when you uh, when I re reload my website you can see the headings are having a loading animations uh, when I load on my website so a similar way when I scroll through my website you you can see there is a, there is a content animations happening on the different part of it with the different intervals. So the, this brings uh, this brings more uh, interest when the user sees the website and brings a delightful experience to the user end user. Um, so I thought it uh, it would be helpful to share share, with, share the tutorial with you guys. So let's uh, let's get started how to create this kind of animations. Um, I will be using um, WowJS 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 plugin. Uh, you can Google up work called as WowJS uh, and click on the first link called Re Reveal Animations when scrolling using WowJS. So uh, when you click on that one you will be landed up to um, uh, the website where uh, when if you reload the if, if you load the website you can see a different kind of animations loading up what WowJS provides. So uh, so when you scroll the, it will repeat the animations uh, which, which all things uh, the WowJS provides. So something like it's it's fancy but um, uh, but fan fancy but also it helps helps when uh, if you are if you are using the animations in the right appropriate way so uh, and you can see the uh, this voucher is used by many of uh, many of the websites like material up and all uh, so let's get started how to integrate this web uh, this um, uh, awesome plugin into our website so you can see the documentation of how to install on this uh, how to install vouchers on our website uh, click on this and you will be landed to a uh, we landed to a detailed version of detailed documentation of uh, installing the WebJS. Um, so we'll follow these steps. Uh, so we'll be uh, the WebJS uses animate uh, CSS animation library called Animate.css. Uh, you can download Animate.css. Clicking on this, you will be landed to Animate uh, Animate CSS plugin, uh, where you can see you can see a you can see different kind of animations what uh, animate.css provides something like uh, oh that's fancy cello wow bouncing down bouncing up okay bouncing up so that's uh, that's a kind of uh, a delightful experience when you when a user sees all these kind of animations so uh, here is a link to download the animate.css i've already downloaded it and i've placed it in um, uh, this is my HTML5 document which I created. Uh, it is a simple HTML5 document where I've just uh, included um, bootstrap main.css to just for the layout purposes. Uh, but to start with, uh, uh, I've already downloaded uh, uh, animate animate.css uh, file from animate uh, uh, he here. From uh, you can download an animate.css file over here. In a similar way, I've uh, already downloaded um, uh, wow.js plugin uh, from uh, from the GitHub uh, GitHub here. Uh, it uh, it allows you to give uh, it it gives a whole whole bunch of files, but uh, you just need um, wow.js, which is placed in uh, this uh, this folder. You can see uh, there is wow.js and wow.min.js. Uh, we'll download wow.main.js for uh, it's a minified version of uh, uh, the original file and uh, it, it loads up very fast so it's, it's, it's better to have a minified version of uh, minified version of the JS file okay. so we'll go to the documentation uh, so we'll start with uh, implementing uh, as we got all the files we will start with the implementing the animations on our on our page so this is where from um, so here they are linking up our animate.css file. So we'll just copy copy this one. Okay. We we'll place this one in head section. I'll just paste it over here. Okay. 
since uh, this is nothing but like uh, this is a style sheet and uh, we are uh, we are linking up using uh, uh, we are linking up which uh, animate.css which is placed in CSS folder so uh, so as we have placed the same uh, same file in uh, CSS folder and animate.css is here similar way uh, next step is uh, to link up the wow.main.js file I'll just copy this line okay I'll just paste it over here so uh, which we saw like we here also the, there's a script and the source is uh, JS folder and uh, we have placed wow.main.js in JS folder in our folder structure okay okay so next thing is um, we are we need to initiate the uh, initiate the wow.js uh, uh, function so we'll copy the initiation script and place it uh, below uh, at the end of a body body ending tag uh, don't forget to include the jquery main.js uh, library uh, since it is required for all uh, jQuery javascript plugins since uh, we are using wow.main.js file it's a javascript plugin so we need a jquery uh, library to uh, to work this so we are uh, initiating our wow, wow function here so next thing is to add a add add a kind of uh, add css class dot wow to html element we need to create a structure like i will just create a html html class So I'm just creating a structure for to load the animations. Uh, uh, this is nothing but this is a Bootstrap or Bootstrap classes. If you are not familiar with the Bootstrap, you can uh, you, you can see see to my other other videos, uh, video tutorials where I'm explaining the, how to use the Bootstrap classes and how to use the Bootstrap and all. So uh, I'll be creating a three-column structure. Class. Copy this. Sorry. Copy this. So it, you got a three-column structure. The container is kind of a wrapper to the uh, to the structure. So I will place uh, a kind of a dummy content right now. So uh, I'll use a dummy content. Okay. I got a content over here. Just copy this. Yes. Okay. So I'll this, save this document. Uh, we'll see what we have got in uh, in our uh, page right now. So this, uh, this is the index page. I will open this in Chrome. Okay, uh, we got a three column structure uh, with the dummy content but there is no loading animations on that one. So uh, we need to have a kind of uh, to differentiate, I will just add a paragraph tag uh, and the paragraph tag similar way the paragraph tag and So to get the feel of it, I will just add a heading tag to this one also. H2 or H3. Okay. Copy the same thing. Copy the same thing over here to three columns.
the columns. So I'll save this document. I'll just refresh it. So you got a three column structure similar to what you've seen in my my website. So we'll start adding uh, animations to this this one. So what uh, uh, kind of like uh, as far as far as uh, warp is, we have initialized the things, and right now we need to add just a class called warp where you want to add the animations. So I'll just copy the class called wow and paste it in and append it over to our uh, column 4 to first one. Okay. So similar way so next thing is to choose the animation style. What animation style you, you require uh, when you when you load the website. So I would require something like uh, I would select um, What shall we select? Bounce left? Yeah. Bounce bounce in left. We'll select a bounce in left um, animations which uh, if you see you see uh, kind of uh, content is coming from the left side. So uh, that's a cool animation. We'll just add this bounce in left class to our uh, column. Bounce in left. Let me check. Is it right? Okay, LS caps. So I'll just say left. Okay. So uh, this animations uh, make sure that your animate CSS is uh, included so that this bounce in left effect will work. So we'll just refresh up our document. Uh, what effect we have got? Okay, we got uh, animations of for the first first column, which is like when I click on this, there is a bounce in effect on the left. Similar way, we'll uh, we'll add it to the uh, to the right one. I wanted something like um, uh, when I load on load the things that this column should bounce in right. Okay, I will just add the same thing. I'll say wow, bounce in right. I'll copy this. Copy to the third column. I'm appending the same classes. Yes, but this time I'm making the left to right. Right. Okay. I'll save this document. I'll refresh the page. Wow. See, yeah, uh, there is a kind of uh, effect from the two sides. From one is from the right, one is from the left. So uh, that is uh, that's a cool animation. Um, so you want to. Uh, so I don't want this one to be uh, coming so fast. I want it to be a kind of a slow animation, uh, a similar way like. Um, uh, when I re reload, reload my page, there is a uh, there is a uh, there is an interval in the interval in in coming of the loading of animation. Uh, so uh, how do we create that kind of thing? So we can add a delay, a delay delay to our animations uh, using uh, using of the data warp warp delay. Okay. So you can so see the content over here. There is a data warp delay called five seconds. copy this I'll paste it to the third column and see it is not a class it's a separate uh, element to the HTML element so I will move this and add a delay data wow delay as 5 seconds so this starts uh, the, the delay happens the delay animation how the animation starts with uh, there should be a 5 seconds after the first animation so, so we'll save this document, and you can see the effect over here. Oops, sorry. Okay, the first animation happened. After five seconds, the third animation, but the second animation will happen. So, likewise, you can set the delay and make uh, make the things happen uh, one after the other. Um, hope this. Hope you like this tutorial. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.